For a long time, marine biologists, fishermen, and coastal residents have noticed a strange phenomenon that they couldn't explain. Fish with circular holes or deep wounds down to their flesh, sometimes with over 20 such holes, were often found both in the water and washed up on shore. These circular wounds were even seen on large marine creatures like dolphins and sharks. But before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss our videos. The cute creature you see in the picture is a lamprey. At first glance, it looks like a harmless sea creature, resembling an eel. However, once you look at its underside, specifically the lower part of its mouth, you'll see a terrifying sight. The lamprey, or rock sucker, belongs to the class Agnatha. Its length ranges up to about a meter. This creature has a very simple structure. Its entire body consists of cartilage, with no bones at all. It lacks paired fins like fish, and doesn't have scales on its body. Its movement is slow, and it has only one nostril and seven breathing holes on each side, which it uses like gills. Despite these modest features, the lamprey has a deadly weapon that it relies on for almost everything in its life, which is likely the main reason it has survived for over 360 million years. That weapon is its mouth. The lamprey's mouth is circular, filled with dozens, if not hundreds, of sharp teeth made of keratin and proteins. In the middle of these teeth is a pointed tongue composed of three parts, resembling a drill. The outer rim of the mouth is very smooth, making its mouth act like a suction cup. This bizarre mouth structure allows the lamprey to latch onto and cling to any surface, even rocks. There are many instances of lampreys hanging onto rocks with their mouths while their bodies float in the water. This is why lampreys are known as rock suckers. However, a creature with a mouth like that wouldn't stop at clinging to rocks. And here lies the crux of the matter. Lampreys attack any fish they encounter, like salmon, catfish, and trout. As soon as they spot one, they leap onto it, clinging to its body with their mouths. No matter how much the fish tries to escape, moving left or right, it fails. At this point, the lamprey starts using its pointed tongue to penetrate the fish's body, creating a hole and then sucking out its blood and body fluids. During this process, it secretes anticoagulants from its mouth to prevent the blood from clotting, allowing it to continue feeding. This process is somewhat similar to how mosquitoes and gnats feed, but on a larger scale. After finishing its meal, the lamprey detaches its mouth from the fish and retreats to the bottom, leaving the fish with deep, circular wounds that often result in its death. Even if the fish survives, it gradually loses weight and becomes lethargic due to infections at the wound site. What's surprising is that the lamprey doesn't stop at small fish. It also targets large marine creatures like dolphins, sharks, and even whales. Lampreys latch onto them, sucking their blood and body fluids. Researchers have observed many dolphins and sharks with circular bruises on their bodies from lamprey bites, and the same goes for whales. In 1950, during an examination of a group of whales on Vancouver Island's coast in Canada, researchers noticed lamprey teeth marks on large whales like humpback whales, sperm whales, and even fin whales, the second largest whale after the blue whale. The lamprey, it seems, shows no mercy. However, large marine creatures have a unique trait. Their wounds heal quickly, allowing them to recover from lamprey bites. Yet, researchers still found some dolphins, sharks, and whales with large, deep, circular wounds, suggesting another sea creature attacking in the same way but on a larger, more aggressive scale. This led researchers to suspect the existence of another marine predator. If the lamprey's appearance scared you, let me introduce you to the cookie-cutter shark. This animal looks so bizarre that you might think it's a fictional creature from a movie, but it is, in fact, a type of small shark. The cookie-cutter shark's average length is around 50 centimeters. Despite its small size, it has very peculiar physical traits. The upper jaw has small teeth, and the lower jaw has around 20 sharp, triangular teeth. Unlike other sharks, these teeth are not separate, but interconnected, forming a single structure resembling a saw blade. When the old set of teeth falls out to be replaced by a new set, 
the cookie-cutter shark swallows its old teeth to absorb the calcium and other elements. Imagine a shark that eats its teeth. It can certainly do some serious damage. The cookie-cutter shark has another important feature. Its skin emits certain lights, or spectra, that attract large fish to its location, almost like setting a trap. Once it spots a fish approaching, it attacks immediately, taking a bite and then disappearing, leaving a circular wound up to seven centimeters deep. This is why scientists named it the cookie-cutter shark, because it leaves deep, circular wounds that resemble cookies. Its bites are much larger and deeper than those of the lamprey. When researchers started studying the behavior of the cookie-cutter shark, they discovered it attacks any marine creature in its vicinity, regardless of size. Scientists have recorded cookie-cutter shark bites on seals, dolphins, whales, other sharks, stingrays, escalar fish, opa, and even fast-moving fish like marlin. That's all for now. Make sure to give us a like before you leave.